Hello, I'm Danny, aka Dan the Cherry Picker Man from DJI High Access Services. I offer high access maintenance and repairs across Nottinghamshire and beyond. One of the things that sets us apart from other people doing similar work to us is the Platform Basket 1890 Pro Spider Cherry Picker you can see behind me. In this video, I am taking a detailed look at our machine, showing you the capabilities and how it works. I've tried to make it as useful as possible, so I've crammed in as much information as I can. If you are here for entertainment, this might not be the video for you. However, if you need to take a look to see if this machine is suitable for your jobs, you're in the right place. I have created a timeline in the description of this video so that if there's anything specific you need to know, you'll be able to skip right there. Otherwise, Watch the whole lot and you'll learn a lot about this machine. Some people genuinely do love to learn about machines. But Christ, by the time I get through all this, it's going to be a 20 minute video, I think, of me babbling on about the capabilities of, of this. So if you need to know something, check out that description and you'll save yourself a lot of time and hopefully you won't fall to sleep and miss the piece that you're looking for. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's see what this machine can do. Now then, let's take a look at the basic setup of the cherry picker. We transport the machine to the job site on a trailer being pulled by our truck. The truck and trailer are full of equipment and materials we use to carry out our work. So whenever possible, it's always good to have them close by while we work. Now, together, the truck and the trailer are 11 meters long and we will require at least five meters to get the machine off the trailer. Often, parking the truck and trailer is overlooked, but it's always worth considering where these two might go during the use of the machine. Our cherry picker is considered a static boom, which requires a Type 1B iPath operator's license to operate it. Being a static boom, this means that once the outriggers are down and the basket is in the air, it can't move on the ground, which makes it static. This type of cherry picker has its advantages and disadvantages. The main advantages for us is that it's much lighter than a mobile lift, making it easier to transport and giving it the ability to run on delicate surfaces. To set this machine up, I need at least 3.2 meters width to get these outriggers down so that it can stabilize and level the machine, making it safe to operate the boom. And the length of the cherry picker from the front of the basket so the end of the back boom is roughly five meters long. So although it's a compact machine, it's still incredibly powerful and super versatile. And even though it is a compact machine, it offers an incredible wide range of work capabilities, which we're gonna get into in a second. The capabilities and reach. Let's dive into the capabilities of the cherry picker. The spider can extend vertically to a working height of 17 meters, which allows us to work safely accessing high spaces, whether it's roofs, chimneys, or tall structures. It also has a horizontal reach of around nine meters, meaning it can stretch out far enough to access difficult areas. However, it's important to note that you can't achieve both at full height and full reach at the same time due to the way the booms are configured. This is something to keep in mind when planning the jobs. The lower boom, or riser boom, extends vertically to five meters from the turntable. This boom is responsible for the initial vertical lift of the platform. When fully extended, it also adds an extra 1.5 meters to the reach of the machine, making it more versatile. Attached to the lower boom is the telescopic boom. This boom can either go straight up for height or extend outwards for reach or even go up and out for additional reach and height. When fully extended, the telescopic boom offers nine meters of horizontal reach, providing more flexibility to access difficult areas. The telescopic boom also has a second section inside the main casting that extends and retracts, giving the machine even more precise positioning. The last part of the boom configuration is the extremely handy fly jib. Attached at the very end of the telescopic boom, the fly jib offers additional reach and maneuverability of the basket. When fully extended vertically, it provides an extra 1.5 meters of height. It's incredibly useful for working over obstacles, like reaching over a ridge line of a roof and then lowering the basket down to work on a chimney at the back. 
I speak from experience when I say this, the fly jib is one of the most useful parts of the machine's design. For all of the machine geeks out there, the fly jib is a smaller articulating arm. And yes, it adds another level of versatility. The man basket attaches to the fly jib and it can rotate through 160 degrees, helping the operator to get into the perfect position to carry out their tasks. That's great. Altogether, all of these booms work in conjunction with a turntable, giving the entire boom assembly the ability to rotate 180 degrees in either direction, making the machine incredibly flexible when it comes to positioning. The basket and weight limit. The cherry picker is equipped with a two-man basket, which is perfect for carrying out tasks at height. The basket can safely carry up to 200 kg, meaning it can hold two operators along with their tools and materials. This weight limit is important to consider, especially if you're planning to carry heavy equipment. However, the 200 kg capacity is typically sufficient for most jobs, including roofing, chimney work, and general maintenance tasks. The basket is designed with safety in mind. It features guardrails and a secure attachment point for the harness, ensuring that workers are safe at height. The machine can be operated from within the basket so the operator can control all aspects of the cherry picker while in position. There are also ground controls in case something happens to the operator in the air, adding an extra layer of safety. Track system and mobility. One of the standout features of the cherry picker is its track system, which allows me to move the machine under its own power into any position I need. The tracks are non-marking, so I don't have to worry about leaving scuffs or marks on delicate surfaces like patios or floor tiles. Despite weighing around two and a half ton, the pressure per square inch exerted by the tracks is less than that of a person wearing stiletto heels. This means I can use the machine on sensitive surfaces without causing any damage. One small disclaimer, however, the machine is unlikely to damage surfaces such as paving slabs unless they have been laid incorrectly. If the slabs are uneven or laid on hollow beds, there is a possibility of cracking them. However, if the slabs have been laid on a solid bed, the machine will go over them without any problem. The cherry picker can also run over grass without causing damage as long as the grass is not saturated and the machine drives in a straight line. Turning the machine around tight corners on grass will churn the ground up, but it is also possible to prevent this by placing boards over the grass. We also have the ability to move the cherry picker using a remote control. This is a really useful feature because it keeps the operator a safe distance from the machine, reducing the risk of accidents or injuries while moving it around. It also means we can move around the machine, ensuring it doesn't collide into anything during its travels. The track system and remote control give me the flexibility to get into tight spots and move the machine efficiently across the job site, making it incredibly versatile and perfect for working in areas where space is limited or tricky to access. Power and fuel sources. Our cherry picker is powered by a dual source, making it versatile in both indoor and outdoor spaces. The first power source is its electric motor, which allows me to operate the machine quietly and without emissions. This is especially useful when working indoors or in sensitive areas where noise and emissions need to be kept to a minimum. The second power source is the Kabuta diesel engine, which I use when working outside or when more power is needed. The diesel engine makes the machine more powerful and faster, which is perfect for outdoor tasks where performance is priority. While I mainly use the diesel engines outdoors, the electric motor is always useful when I need it, offering a flexible solution depending on the job. Compactness and flexibility. One of the best features of this cherry picker is its ability to shrink in size. The man basket is lightweight and easily detached and can be moved around the site by just one person. By narrowing the tracks and removing the pads on the end of the outriggers, the machine can fit through gaps as narrow as 800 millimeters wide or fit under passageways less than 1.9 meters tall. Also, by removing the basket, I reduce the length of the machine by roughly 500 millimeters, giving me more flexibility to navigate tight spaces or work in areas where space is limited. This ability to adjust the size of the machine, coupled with its ability to move about on its tracks, makes it the great solution for jobs where access is tricky and it's perfect for areas that other machines simply can't get into. When accessing a job site and considering whether or not the Spider 1890 Pro can access the work area, it's worth considering the route it will take to get there. 
It is possible to climb up steps and cross gaps by building bridges and ramps, but it's not possible to turn 90 degrees in tight spaces. Although it can fit through gaps as narrow as 800 mil, it is still five meters long and needs space to turn and put down its outriggers. Pros and cons of using a cherry picker versus ladders and scaffold. Before we wrap this up, let's quickly compare the cherry picker to more traditional access methods like ladders and scaffolding so you can see when it might be the best option for your job. The pros of using a cherry picker is a quick setup. Unlike scaffolding, which can take hours or even days to set up, a cherry picker can be set up and operational in a matter of minutes, saving a lot of time. Efficiency. With a cherry picker, I can reach high spots quickly without needing to constantly climb up and down a ladder. This makes jobs more efficient, especially for tasks that require constant repositioning. Access to hard to reach areas. Cherry pickers provide more flexible reach, especially for those tricky spots like roof lines, chimneys or areas that ladders simply can't access safely. Plus, the ability to move around on tracks allows me to access areas that other equipment can't. Safety. Working in a cherry picker is far safer than climbing up and down a ladder. The basket provides guardrails and secure points for safety harnesses, reducing the risk of falls. Minimum disruption. Cherry pickers don't require the same amount of space as scaffolding and can be moved around easily, making them ideal for jobs where you want to avoid taking up large areas of the property. On site for the job only. The cherry picker is only on site during the undertaking of the task itself. Once the job is finished, it's removed. It arrives just as the job is about to begin, making it more convenient than scaffold, which can stay on site for much longer. The cons of using a cherry picker. Space requirements. While cherry pickers are compact, they still require some space to set up and maneuver. If you're working in a really tight area, a cherry picker might not be the best option. Accessing very tight spaces. Unlike scaffolding, which can be adjusted to fit narrow spaces, a cherry picker may not be able to access certain areas unless the space is wide enough to fit the machine. Cost. Renting or hiring a cherry picker is likely more expensive than using ladders or possibly scaffolding, especially for shorter tasks or simpler tasks. And I'm mainly talking about ladders in those circumstances. Limited reach. While the cherry picker is highly versatile, it can't reach as far as scaffolding that is erected for very large or complex jobs. If you need to work over a long distance, scaffolding might be the more practical way. Limited basket space. The cherry picker's basket has limited space, which makes it unsuitable for larger jobs, such as re-roofing, where a large team and more tools are required. Overall, cherry pickers are an excellent option when you need to work efficiently and safely at height, especially in areas that are difficult to access with scaffolding or ladders. But, as with any tool, it's important to consider the nature of the job and the space available before deciding which method is best for you. In conclusion, as you can see, the Spider 1890 Pro has an impressive list of features, making it a very versatile tool. It's compact size, ability to run on delicate surfaces, dual power source, and impressive reach and maneuverability makes it an essential tool for me when working in difficult, hard to reach, high accessing jobs. But it's perfect for helping me getting the job done efficiently, quickly, safely, and with minimal disruption to the customer. We've also looked at how the cherry picker compares to more traditional methods like ladders and scaffolding, Depending on the job, the cherry picker can offer many advantages such as a faster setup, improved safety, and better access to hard to reach areas. Of course, every tool has its limitations and the cherry picker may not be the right choice for every situation. So if you have any further questions regarding the cherry picker and what the services I offer are, feel free to reach out to me and I will do my best to answer those for you. I hope that this video has been useful to you. I hope it's answered all the questions you might have regarding this machine. If I haven't answered all of the questions and you've still got some, please leave them in the comments. I do my best to answer all the comments or reach out in other ways. You'll find my website in our bio and in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more cherry picker and roofing videos. 
and I will see you on the next job. Thanks for watching.